Hello and welcome back to Lid International Kart Club on the 27th of June 2021. You've seen the juniors go out, now it's time for the seniors also competing for the O plate. In addition, it's round three of the NKRA and round four of the Formula Blue Challenge. The latter of which currently looks like this. Dave Watts leads the way, ahead of Anthony Cleal with Russell O'Neill in third place, ahead of Rich Pubble and Mike Bell. Billy Thomas in sixth, ahead of Sarita Schoen, Sylvain Vessier, Sam Dybal and Rob Mortimer completing the top ten. With Ben Joseph, Nigel Vickery, Kevin O'Neill, David Waldron, and David Good rounding out the top 15. Dave Watts currently the championship leader will be looking to defend that today, as well as to defend his current O plate as he is the holder of it, looking to make that two years on the banks. In the Blue Master standings, Russell O'Neill currently heads the way by a single point ahead of Billy Thomas, with Anthony Cleal in third, only a further two points behind. And Kevin O'Neill, Russell O'Neill's father, is in fourth on 23 with Rob Mortimer, David Waldron, David Good, Ben Joseph and Nigel Vickery all within seven points of him. And Paul Alexander is going to complete the top ten ahead of Ron Schoen, Alex Fortune, Phil Shears, Paul Dybal and Chris Underhill. So a very competitive Masters, certainly the midfield. And over now to the Blue Veterans and it's Anthony Cleal pretty much having it his own way at the moment, leading the championship by 11 points with Kevin O'Neill in second. Rob Mortimer, David Waldron and David Good all within five points though. With Paul Alexander, Nigel Vickery, Ron Schoen, Phil Shears and Paul Dye will make up the top ten. And Chris Underhill, Adrian Helps, Stuart Gray, Robin Sarrant Stones and John Hartshorn. In the Blue Legends Championship that's going to be coming up momentarily, it's Kevin O'Neill heading the way on six points. He's going to be ahead of David Good with a four-point advantage, ahead of Ron Schoen, who's even on points with Chris Underhill, but ahead on drop score for third and fourth. Adrian helps in fifth, ahead of Stuart Gray and Robin Stark Stones. And in the blue top weights, it's Billy Thomas having a perfect season thus far, ahead of Rob Mortimer, with Ben Joseph, Ron Schoen, and Phil Shears running up the top five. Paul Dybel only a point behind in sixth, and then Adrian helps with Mark Cook, Alan Lewis, and Mike Watts making up the cast, with Lewis and Watts yet to start this season. Heat 1 was won by David Watts from pole position, so setting off as he means to continue to defend that O-plate. Sarita Schoen was going to finish 2nd ahead of Sam Dybel with Anthony Cleal in 4th ahead of Paul Dybel with a good run to 5th, Stuart Gray 6th, Michael Bell in 7th ahead of Ben Joseph with David Good and Robin Stark Stones running at the top 10. In Heat 2 it was a sensational victory this time from pole position from Paul Dybel holding off Sylvain Bessier with Rich Puddle and David Watts, in fact as close as that in behind. Anthony Cleal would make up the top five ahead of Stuart Gray, Mike Bell, Ben Joseph, Sarita Schoen, and Sam Dybal would complete the top ten. A bit of a turn up for the books there, Paul Dybal taking the win. In Heat 3 was won by Sylvain Vessier ahead of Rich Puddle, both going up nine positions apiece. Dave Watts would come from the back to finish third ahead of Paul Alexander with Ben Joseph in fifth. Anthony Cleal, Paul Dybal, Stuart Gray, Sam Dybal and Russell O'Neill would make up the top ten. And when they were all put together the grid would look like this. David Watts takes pole position and the best start to his defence of the O plate. Paul Dybal though would start alongside him so what could the elder Dybal do? Sylvain Vessier is going to be third ahead of Anthony Cleal with Stuart Gray fifth ahead of Ben Joseph. Sam Dybal and Mike Bell share row four and Rich Puddle and Sarita Schoen make up the top ten. In behind Paul Alexander and Robin Stark Stones, Steve Groves 13th ahead of David Good and Taylor Waldron. Ron Schoen beating out Russell O'Neill on tiebreak for 16th and 17th. Likewise Rob Mortimer beating out the top novice Tom Parker for 18th and 19th. David Waldron down in 20th and Kevin O'Neill, the Legends leader, not getting the heats he would want. He's going to be running out the 21-strong grid as we're about to get out on track. So we're on board now with Paul Alexander. You see a bit of commotion up ahead. A few drivers out of their carts getting back in. And now everybody firing up and you can see the rain has certainly picked up since the junior race. And away we go with Dave Watts leading us out on track, and that's a problem. That looks like Sam Dybal not getting going. He's out on track they go. Top seven all making it out okay, and now we're back on board with Russell O'Neill, and the grid's stuck. Clearly Dybal's having a problem. Taylor Waldron's made the call, he's going around. So too Russell O'Neill and Tom Parker. Steve Groves is now trying to get get free as well. Kevin O'Neill's gone through and still no joy for Sam Dybal. That's Paul Alexander and Rich Puddle as well being moved out around. That's Mike Watts diving in to help trying to get Puddle sorted. Sorry, trying to get Sam Dybal sorted. 
As there goes Rich Puddle out on track. Still no dice for Sam Dybal, as now we're on board with Waldron. And he's coming onto the back straight, so I would assume we'd be being sent right again for the grid to reform. As now we're on board with Russell O'Neill, he's not even called the pack back up yet, so almost certainly we will be going around for a second rolling lap. Which in these conditions is probably not a bad thing. If you can get a good idea of where the grip is, and there, sure enough, the marshal signaling the go round again. As Dave Watts leads the way. Paul Dybal still sticking with him. As now we're on board with Paul Alexander. You can see the ground he's got to make up. Probably being quite thankful for the extra rolling lap. Ahead of him, Steve Groves and Kevin O'Neill likewise. See, even on the rolling lap, Alexander pushing hard to try and catch up, but there is no grip out there. Certainly not a lot, as there's Rich Puddle. He's got a bit of a, bit of a task left to do to catch back up. As the front of the pack going now up and over the yump. We're on board with Russell O'Neill, who's back up in the grid. Taylor Waldron ahead of us. You can see the spray when Waldron accelerates. Plenty of standing water on the track. Through the right, around the long left, and on towards the... Long, uh, the longest straight on the circuit. Now Alexander, Groves and Kevin O'Neill both, uh, sorry, all three going up and over the yump as well, so it looks like the grid will be close to forming back up again. You can see they're <laughs> even trying to catch back up. They're struggling with the lack of grip. But now, on board with Ben Joseph, number 40, lining up in 6th place. Alongside us is the red speed of Stuart Gray, ahead of us is the number one of Anthony Cleal, and we are away and a good even start from all of the top six. It looks like Taylor Waldron may be getting all the way up into seventh already, but around the first bend, it's Watts leading from uh, Vessier and Dival Cleal in behind. Now we're on board with Rich Puddle, he's making up a move, that's Tom Parker, we've just gone by. Ahead of us now is Rob Mortimer in the number 66. Puddle with a bit of an out of position start, going to have to do a bit of extra work to get back where he needs to be. And he's going to dispatch more to more as they go round through top end. Now at number 7 ahead of us is David Waldron, one of the Octanes. And Puddle over the yump and up the inside. Round the right, now the number 11 of us is ahead of us is Ron Schoen. Oh, Ron. And Puddle getting caught behind Schoen and now he's going to unleash onto the back straight up alongside is now back on board with Waldron. You can see Puddle on the right, shown on the left, and Rich Puddle down the inside into the final bend. We're back to the lead. It's Watts leading from Vessier with Dival, Cleal, Joseph and Gray right behind. And it's shown Waldron, O'Neill and Bell making up the top ten. There's Sarita Schoen. There's... Now we're back on board. Ben Joseph looking all over the back of number one, Anthony Cleal. Number 77 ahead of Cleal is Paul Dival and Cleal's going for the inside. Little bit of contact there, but Cleal makes it through, opens the door, and Ben Joseph's going to follow him through. So Dival goes down two spots as they go over the yump. You see ben Joseph losing the back end there is now Rich Puddle up and over the yump. No! That's Robin Stomach. Do Stone's down the inside of us, number 13 on number 24, but Puddle's going to switch back underneath. Now ahead of Puddle is the number 4 of Mike Bell, so Puddle already back up challenging for the top 10. And up the inside goes Puddle into Pit Bend. Now back to Ben Joseph, looking for the gap against Anthony Cleal. These two now battling up for third place, with Watts starting to run away in the lead. Vessier second, Joseph and Cleal as close as that, going into the second chicane. Behind them still hanging on his Paul Dival. Now back on board with Rich Puddle. Number three ahead of us is Russell O'Neill, so these two championship rivals for third and fourth as things stand. And Puddle going around the outside of Russell O'Neill. Ben Joseph trying to look up the inside of Anthony Cleal, but to no avail. Cleal goes far later on the brakes, but he's going to wash wide, and Joseph's now going to catch back up as we pull right into the rooster tails. You can barely see a thing, but Joseph looking to try and launch one up the inside, but to no avail. Down the back straight they go, and Joseph's going to pull out under braking. Certainly going to get to the final turn first. Is he going to get out of it first? That looks like it. There's Watts leading from Vessier, and yep, Ben Joseph ahead of Anthony Cleal. Paul Dival still hanging on in 5th place, and Stuart Gray is dropping like a stone. Not sure what's happened to Gray, but there goes O'Neill. There's David Hood now up into 10th. Now back on board, Paul Alexander. He's up in the pack a little bit now. He's challenging Rob Mortimer for 13th position. The number 6 versus the number 66. And they're in a bit of a queue that starts at 10th. And that's Paul Dival sideways. Taylor Waldron's oh, off the track, and Rich Powell's going to take 2 positions. 
Taylor Walters managed to recover, as has Dybul. Now here comes Russell O'Neill putting the pressure on against number 64. Waldron's going to hang on around the outside though, and through the long left you can see Waldron the back end getting quite loose under power, but Waldron keeping it all under control. Now onto the back straight, Russell O'Neill right up behind. Nothing doing there though, as Ben Joseph sets the new fastest lap of the races, he's caught Sylvain Vessier. So that's going to be a new battle for second place. Sarita Schoen now up to fifth. Rich Puddle up to sixth place ahead of Dybul and Waldron. With Russell O'Neill ninth and David Goode still hanging on in tenth. Now back on board with Joseph and he's going to come from a long way back against Sylvain Vessier. Joseph's going to get it stopped. That looks like he's going to have taken second position. So Ben Joseph up to second. Now Paul Alexander. He's in 14th. Rob Mortimer ahead of us for 13th place and Alexander looks to go to the inside. And similarly looks like he's made the position. His next target, number 11 of Ron Schoen ahead of us as he goes up and over the yump. Now into the right. That's Robin Sutter Stones. He's had a problem but he's back going again. Dave Watts leads the race. Now Ben Joseph with a new fastest lap once again up to second ahead of Vessier and Cleal. These top four have really broken away. Sarita Schoen fifth and Rich Puddle closing in. Seven tenths on that last lap near enough. Paul Dybul hanging on to 7th out of Taylor Waldron, Russell O'Neill and David Good still running out the top 10. Good under pressure from Waldron, who's actually, David Waldron's had a really good run so far, he's come from 20th up to 11th already. And that's Stuart Gray in the red speed, he's pressuring the back of Rob Mortimer, so Gray must have had a problem. Now back on board with Paul Alexander, number 11 ahead of us is Ron Schoen into top bend once again, a favour overtaking spot, Alexander goes for the inside. And Ron Schoen's going to power around on the outside, find the grip, and then over the yump. Alexander through the spray, going up the inside. Oh, and he's hit the curb and around goes Alexander. Gray's going to avoid, so too is Rob Mortimer. But that's going to have dropped Paul Alexander down a couple of positions. And that's Robin Sarrett Stone's pointing David Watts, the race leader, through. Now on board with Ben Joseph. You can see how quickly he's reeling in David Watts. Robin Sarrett Stone's off on the right, and Joseph's going to go through. Looking back down, that's Ron Schoen, now with Stuart Gray on his bumper. Rob Mortimer and Tom Parker gaining positions there. So too Steve Groves from the spin of Paul Alexander, who's gotten back going. And he's back on the attack already. There's Alexander in the orange helmet. Steve Groves, the number 52 ahead of us in the Cosmic. Alexander mounting the curbs, trying to get some traction. Steve Groves going to drive away on the exit of the bend. Now we're on board. Richard Puddle once again. This is Sarita Schoen to our left, down into the pit bend. Puddle looks like he's got it on the inside, but you can hear how slippery it is with that camera. Puddle's having to be on the accelerator, but across the line. Puddle now up to fifth. That's Anthony Cleal getting past Robin Stoddart Stones. And Kevin O'Neill actually has also fallen back, so Stoddart Stones makes up a position. That's Russell O'Neill in ninth. And David Waldron's up to 10th, he's past David Good. Ron Schoen and Stuart Gray in behind though, and now Ben Joseph right on the rear bumper, or should I say the rear right wheel of the number of the Oak Lake, Dave Watts for the race lead, Ben Joseph looking to the inside, he's going to back out of it onto the back straight, but the intention is there from the number 40. You can see now the rain looks like it's getting worse, more and more standing water out on track judging by the spray. Paul Alexander looking for another move into the top bend against Steve Groves this time. Alexander's holding to the right, uh, Groves hanging on round the left, over the yump. And Alexander being a bit brave, remember he'd already lost it at this corner before, that big inside curb caught him out. They go round a long left and onto the back straight. And now back on board with Rich Puddle, and you can really see the lack of visibility for Puddle. That is, I believe, Robin Stark Stones. Puddle putting the lap on Stark Stones. As he goes round what I believe is top end down towards the young. Very difficult to see. There's Shown and Mortimer. Tom Parker as well going out the first chicane. And Steve Rose still has Paul Alexander all over the back of him. Now back on board with the number six. Hooking the curb, whereas Groves isn't. Two different approaches to wet weather driving. And now Alexander once again down the inside. Third lap in a row. Can it be third time to the charm? It looks like it as Alexander makes the move up over the yump. There's Vessier. He's got Anthony Teal closing him down. And Rich Puddle charging on both of them. Puddle the fastest person of anyone that last time by. 
There's Sarita shown on the tail of Robin's Tart Stones. There's Paul Dival hanging on for still a good result in seventh. Taylor Waldron now attacking, that's Kevin O'Neill. And Waldron goes to the inside and makes the pass. And there's Russell O'Neill. Stuart Gray now has taken that tenth spot. It seems to be a revolving door for P10. He's now ahead of Waldron. As that is Paul Alexander through the first chicane ahead of Steve Gray. So that battle for 16th seems to resolve itself. Back on board with Puddle coming down towards Pit Bend. You can hear how careful he's being. Puddle gets the run out of Pit Bend. Meanwhile, for the lead, David Watts sets a new personal best. Responding to the pressure of Ben Joseph, but Rich Puddle takes 1.2 seconds out of Anthony Teal ahead of him with a new fastest lap of the race, 51.2. I haven't seen anyone really do faster than a 51.9 consistently, so Puddle is flying. Meanwhile, there's Stuart Gray. He's passed Russell O'Neill on this last lap, as has David Waldron. And that's Sylvain Vessier. He's Vessier's plummeting, so something must have happened to Vessier. He was running in third place. So it's going to promote everybody up a few spots. Now back on board with David Waldron. He is back into 10th place, so he's already up 10 this race. And now he's looking to have a go at Russell O'Neill. And O'Neill going to get the power out. And you can really see how much grip the outside line has around top end. With how much Russell O'Neill fires away on that little short shoot up towards the yump. Now through the long left, O'Neill up on the curb. That's Puddle. He's really closing the gap to Anthony Cleal. And that's Sarita Schoen, and that tick 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 noise I think is the front bumper scraping along the ground. So Sarita Schoen may be in line for a bumper penalty. We'll have to wait and see. Paul Dybel's going to have to get a wiggle on to try and keep up to see if he can get ahead of her through that. Now back on board with Waldron. Still in 10th place, still chasing Russell O'Neill. Stuart Gray has pulled away quite away on the last lap. Behind Waldron, it's David Good, Ron Schoen and Rob Mortimer looking to try and put a lap on Kevin O'Neill. And just behind that was Tom Parker being caught by Paul Alexander, but that's the last lap board. And it's waiting for the oak late Dave Watts, who's pulled away from Ben Joseph. The one more lap to go, and then Dave Watts will take the win of this race. His second race of the year, and his first, the first person to win two races this year. Meanwhile, Puggle closing in on Cleo, and David Waldron closing in on Russell O'Neill, with still more than a lap to go for the battle for ninth. They're going down the back straight. You can see O'Neill going for the very wide line on way in, Waldron keeping it far tighter. Having to get, travel less distance but doesn't have as much grip. They're going to start the final lap. There's Stuart Bray in the red speed. He's up to 8, number 8. And there's the battle for 11th crossing the line to start the last lap. Hude, Schoen and Mortimer. And Paul Alexander's past Tom Parker so Alexander makes up another spot on that last lap. Meanwhile, David Watts has taken the win. Across the line goes Ben Joseph in second, a valiant challenge. Rich Puddle that manages to take third place from Anthony Cleal on the final lap. So, bit of drama in the top four. Across the line to finish fifth is going to be... That is Sarita Schoen. Robin Stark Stones finishes, so too does Paul Dybel. Next round should be Taylor Waldron, but difficult to tell in this spray. Sure enough, it is the number 64 Taylor Waldron up from 15th. Now Russell O'Neill, he's going to cross the line in 9th. Not the event Russell O'Neill would have wanted for. 17th to 9th, though, still a good recovery ahead of David Waldron and David Good. Ron Schoen pipping out Rob Mortimer, and then for P14 is going to be Paul Alexander. Tom Parker crosses the line, so too Steve Groves rounding out the finishers on the lead lap. And Kevin O'Neill's going to run out the finishers full stop. So that was an action-packed race in the wet at Lid. David Watts is going to retain his O-plate for another year. And Russell O'Neill now got to effectively swim back to the uh, back to the paddock. Look how much water there is out on track right now, and it's only getting worse and worse. You know, the results will stand after Park Fermi. Dave Watts takes the win of the race from four seconds ahead of Ben Joseph. He goes up four into second. Rich Puddle. Started out of position and still drove through to third, so a fantastic drive from Puddle. Anthony Cleal fourth. Paul Dival moves up to fifth thanks to a bumper penalty for Sarita Schoen. Taylor Waldron in seventh ahead of Stuart Gray. Russell O'Neill up to ninth. David Waldron going plus ten into tenth place ahead of David Good. With Ron Schoen, Rob Mortimer, and Paul Alexander making up the top fourteen. 
Top novice Tom Parker in 15th out of Steve Groves with Robin Stark Stones and Kevin O'Neill running out the finishers. Sylvain Vessier coming in early and Mike Bell and Sam Dybal for the second year in a row watching the final from the wrong side of the fence. While well, it does to the blue challenge, Dave Watts going to continue the lead ahead of Anthony Cleal. Rich Puddle moves up to third ahead of Mike Bell. Russell O'Neill falling to fifth ahead of Sarich Schoen with Ben Joseph, Sylvain Vessier, Sam Dybal and Rob Mortimer running out the top ten. Kevin O'Neill ahead of David Good, David Waldron, Paul Dyble and Paul Alexander making up the top 15, ahead of Ron Schoen, Tom Parker, Stuart Gray, Billy Thomas and Taylor Waldron completing the top 20. So all things changing up in there. In the blue Masters standings, it was a good day for Anthony Cleal. He's going to take the lead of the Masters, quite commandingly, 8 points ahead of Russell O'Neill now, with a further 12 back to Ben Joseph and a further 9 back to Rob Mortimore. And that's where the closeness starts. David Good, David Waldron and Kevin O'Neill all even on 44 points. Just two ahead of Paul Dybald with Paul Alexander and Ron Schoen completing the top 10. Ahead of Billy Thomas with Stuart Gray, Nigel Vickery and Robert Stark Stones in behind. David Good takes the lead of the Legends Championship after a poor day for Kevin O'Neill drops in one point behind in second. Ron Schoen's going to hold on to third ahead of Stuart Gray, Robin Stark Stones and Chris Underhill. And in the blue top weights, it's Ben Joseph that's going to take over the lead of the championship ahead of Rob Mortimer with Paul Dybal, Ron Schoen and Billy Thomas making up the top five. And in the Tabor Customer Prize Fund, it's Russell O'Neill and Sarita Schoen joint leaders at the moment as things stand. Anthony Cleal in third ahead of Rob Mortimer and Mike Bell. The top junior still is Jamie Dart. He's down 19th equal with John Hartshorn with 11 points. And so that's it for the wet round at Lid, and we'll be back in two weeks for Clay Pigeon Cart Club, return for the next round of the Formula Blue Challenge, see you then.